Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to part 8 of our Snooker 19 Pro Career with Neil Robertson and it is time for what is definitely, without doubt, our hardest game of the Paul Hunter Classic and the series overall so far. Today we play against Rank 8 Kyron Wilson in the 4th round, the round of 16 of this Paul Hunter Classic and we today have got to try and knock out the real life hold of the event, the chap who won the event in real life last year, to try and progress to the quarterfinals. Now, we have done it the hard way so far, I think, to have to say. We beat uh, Juan Sijun 3-2 in the second round. We beat David Lilly 3-2 in, uh, in the first round. But in round three, we did things a little bit easier by beating Mark King 3-1. It was probably our best performance so far, and by far, really. And we're on a good run now, winning six rap matches in a row. But, but with no question, is Kyron Wilson the most difficult player who we've got to play yet? So let's get on with it, shall we? It's going to be a really tricky game. First player to win three frames, as it has been throughout this competition, and I am really relishing the challenge. Before we go out today, of course, I think it is the, um, what comes next? I think it's the Indian Open that we will take part in next. Not quite sure, actually, no, it might be. it's the Shanghai Masters that we will take part in next, depending on whether we are invited. But as long as we're in the top 16 in the rankings by the time the Shanghai Masters comes about, then we will be invited to that event. So I've got no... Uh, worries about not being invited. I have to say, for the stature of this game, I'm a little bit more surprised that uh, there aren't more fans in this arena. But nonetheless, it's going to be a cracker between ourselves and Kyron Wilson. And for the first frame, who is going to be to break? So it's Neil Robertson's break in this first frame. Of course, it's your first video of mine on Snooker 19. Uh, I do daily content on this video with the Neil Robertson career mode and a online career mode for the start of this game for the first few weeks called... Um, rising to the top or road to the top uh, on the online tournament mode of the World Championship trying to rise to the top of the rankings but luckily uh, I'm recording this a little bit later and it wasn't this series that I recorded earlier because uh, I tried to record a road to the top episode earlier and about halfway through we had three power cuts in a row so that completely destroyed that recording so I'm glad that it wasn't this series that uh, we mucked up because it does auto save pretty much every shot if I went out now then uh, I should say, as I said, it would auto-save, um, and therefore you wouldn't see any progress. So, well, which is a real shame. And also confirmed that uh, there's no way of restarting these matches, even if you were playing rubbish. So, there's no way that anybody on this game could, unless they were really clever about it, uh, restart a match in their favour. That's particularly good safety, in fact, right on the bulk cushion, uh, on the bottom cushion there. But what I was going to say, apart from rambling about this power cut, is if this is your first Snooker 19 video of mine, I recommend you go back and watch the other stuff, because uh, that would be a good insight of what's happened so far. But, uh, of course, for you guys that have been around for a while, uh, you guys will know what's happening, and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed so far, and it's definitely been a cracking uh, series so far, and the views seem to dictate that we've done really well. But that's a good pot on the, uh, on the red to start the round off. Not the best position, but the reds are well and truly opened up now. Now, if we can get this uh, yellow, we would get off to a cracking start. I'm just worried about this brown a little bit. Uh, but this will definitely pot if we get it right, that is. Let's see how this goes. Yep, it's middled in the middle of the pocket. Now, we can't really afford to make a mistake against uh, Kyron Wilson, to be quite honest. He's a top player. He's the holder of this event in real life. And unlike any player we've played, really, so far, if you give Kyron Wilson a chance, he will... I would say 99 times out of 100 clear up the table. So there's a real onus on us to win today's match. Uh, and real Well, not necessarily win the match, but not make any mistakes if we are to win today's match. Uh, but that's not the best shot ever. Four. You know, the screw back was probably too much there. Now, this annoying thing is... Oh, thank God for that. Um, once you've nominated a colour, I don't think there's any option to change it. But we nominated the pink, and uh, it's done well. But we're going to play a bit of a shot to nothing. Provides safety, I would say, if it doesn't go in, but also provides a cracking pot if it does. Oh, no, we've just missed, and that's a little bit unfortunate, but it does take the ball up to the bulk. Uh, there's no obvious opportunities, apart from that red, which is right by the pink spot, so he'll probably take that on. But no, he takes this one on, interesting, bit of a tighter pot, but he has potted it all the same, and that's well on the black. And now, I think that mistake could have been the frame clincher. Again, people like Kyron Wilson don't need a second chance. They really don't. One chance, and they're in. Unless they make a mistake, which is unlikely and uncharacteristic of these players, particularly in the top eight. Nine. Then you are going to struggle to get back into a frame. 
which really puts the pressure on, to be honest. We did make a few mistakes against Mark King, not too many, uh, but certainly one or two, and you could have argued that maybe he could have brought it back to 3-2, uh, but he didn't, so we did get away with that a little bit, but we played some good snooker, but that is exactly what Kyron Wilson is playing so far, and to be honest, unless he makes a mistake, which I keep saying, I can't see any way um, of us winning this frame now, so we just have to sit down and wait. He's playing some cracking snooker so far, and let's see how he gets on. So, a 26 break so far. He's got nine reds left on the table. Still needs a few reds left yet, of course, to uh, win the frame. But he's still on the good colours. Uh, he makes a habit of doing that, particularly the top players, to try and just win the frame in as least balls possible. But, Kyron has made a mistake there. I always say this, but the yellow is better than a smack in the face. And uh, not putting that pink has certainly provided a bit of a smack in the face for Kyron in a frame where he could have easily won. Now it becomes a lot trickier. But that positional shot is a shocker, to be honest. One. Really makes things tricky now. And uh, we should never have screwed back by this much at all. So that's a bit of a disappointment. The green's really the only option into the middle pocket, I would say, here. Let's just evaluate this shot. Let's... Uh, Make sure it looks okay, but it will provide a bit of safety, I suppose, if we don't get it. But it's a really tight pot. It looks good, though, and it's there. But as I said, it would provide safety, so there's no real pot on there. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, actually, this red might be on. It's a long one, but this red might go. And it's a little bit of a shot to nothing, I would say. But I'm pretty confident, hence we're hitting it a little bit harder, but this could be a risk. But it's there. What a cracking pot that was. We might even follow it up with a second red. No, we don't. But this black's well in commission now. And could that, taking the opportunity and taking it well, be the, uh, the start of a winning frame? The black's there. That's a good pot. Now, what's the upshot? Because we can't get to that red. We might have even made a mistake already here. Can we get to this red into the middle? No, we can't. Well, that was a poor positional shot. Unless we play the plant on this red, and I'm not confident in doing that. Well, does this red get past the other one into the middle? I don't think it does, does it? No, it doesn't. And I'm not really confident playing plants, so this could be just a very tricky... Safety shot. Pace and it could be a bad one. It could go really well, to be fair. And it, we might uh, pull up trumps for it. But a safety shot is what we're going to play there. And that hasn't ended up too bad, actually. It's in the bulk carry. It certainly gives us a chance. And it requires a good pot from Kyron Wilson. That's all we really could have done in that uh, situation. But another safety from Kyron, unless he's got the plant. And he's got desperately unlucky with that. Really has. That's a real shame for him. Now, we're going to try and follow that up and play a plant here. And surely one of these balls has got to go in. Give it a good whack. He's attempting the plant and I think surely, if the contact is made, one of these balls will go. And there we go. Oh, where's the cue ball? It's made unfortunate contact there, but we're just about fine. Whew. Well, it's been an unbelievable frame. Yellow seems the best shot for me here. But uh, it won't really provide position, unfortunately. Unless we really screw it back and just try and hit one of these reds. Lots of but we're hitting this with a lot of force. Uh, we can get it up to 100%, that is. Crying out loud. Third time lucky. No. I think it must be, it must be hinting that the shot power needs to come down slightly. Oh, for crying out loud. Fourth time lucky. Oh, my God. Five. There we go. Screwback's not too bad, actually. But uh, a little bit awkward. Actually, though, this red should go into the middle, shouldn't it? So that hasn't worked out all too badly. If the red does go into the middle, indeed. And it's there. That was a pretty awesome pot in the end. Four. If I say so myself. Now, the pink might look a good shot there, but... Again, a little bit of a worry, so I'm not going to bother. And the green's there. What are we like positionally now? 
We can still get to the red. That'd be uh, opposed by the black if it was a little bit further down the table towards the top cushion. Now, can we get screw back onto this black? No, I'd rather play with some top, to be honest. Not hit it so hard, but uh, get the red and get onto the black. But uh, be a little bit too hard to go on the black. And uh, Karin Wilson will see this is a real missed opportunity, I would say. But of course, we've got to, you know, pull this up. We've got to pull this off. Now we want something that's very soft here. A to get this into the pocket and B to give good position. And that is about as good as we could have got. 14. Cracking. Now then. Will this red go? That's not it good doesn't. Result. You know what? I honestly felt that might not go before we took the shot. And sometimes, it, it happens about once a frame, there is one bad shot that we play. And Kyron Wilson doesn't need a second chance. I would be really surprised if from here, Kyron Wilson doesn't take this first frame. It'll be the first time in a game, in our nine games so far in Snooker 19, that we've lost a first frame. And the pressure really on us now to take the second. But, of course, not over yet. He might make a mistake, but that is a gutting one. We should really not have made that mistake. Really poor shot from us and just too hard. And those reds were in prime position. As Corrin just show, showed now with all his shots, although that red was uh, in a little bit of an awkward position with that black bean there. So he's missed that red. And it needs a bit of a fine cut now all of a sudden, doesn't it, to go into that pocket. Not a fan of these shots. But if we can make it work, we can turn the frame round. So it's one of them, really. No, it's a little bit off, isn't it? And unfortunately, it's just not our throw. I mean, we should have really played a lot more safe there. You know, I, I was hinting before the shot, we can't really make this, and we should have just made sure we got the safety, if nothing else. But he gave us another chance there. We didn't use it wisely. He's going to pop the, pop the black. Ooh, that was very close to going in the middle. But it still requires a tricky yellow, which I'm in pretty much no doubt it'll get anyway. Yep, needs that tricky yellow. But as long as he gets this green, the frame is his. And that's the risk against playing these top players at the end of the day. You've got to make sure that you get everything right. We didn't play too badly there, but just one or two mistakes. I mean, Corrin has missed that brown, so we might as well play on, just for the hope we might well get a snooker. But uh, I doubt it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not very good at playing Snoo, because I must confess. So, we're just going to go for the pot on this, uh, this circumstance. And it's there. Good pot. We might as well just pot the remaining balls. I can't see where Snooker's going to come from. I think I'll learn that sort of thing over time, but at the moment, I can't really see it. So the pink's there, and this just highlights, you know, we're not many behind at all. You know, we're ten behind, we'll be only three behind if we get this black. It's a tricky black, to be fair. Uh, we'll only be three behind if we get this black, and that just highlights, if we would have potted that red and not been so hasty about it and so quick, we could well have won the frame. And the black's there, it's a close frame in the end, highlighting that both players made a few mistakes, but ultimately, it's Kyron Wilson who looks better in terms of the scores, and it's 1-0 to him. But he provides some encouragement, you know, we weren't terrible there. But, uh, you know, a disappointing start. And if Kyron Wilson wins this second frame, it's a long way back. And really shows that we can't make any mistakes. Of course, that applies if he wins any of the next three frames. Um, you know, if he wins one of the next three frames, obviously it goes down to a decider. Providing he only wins one of them. But we're going to give this ball a whack. You know, not, not show that we've been rustled up or... In any sort of fear. That would be the worst thing to do in this situation. That's a good red. And the red's there. But it did provide some safety. If we didn't, we didn't get the pot. That's the most important thing. I'd rather provide some safety. And have a little bit of a trickier pot to take on. Than uh, ultimately be safe. It's half a chance, but a chance nonetheless. Well we've missed the brown. That was just stupid. I don't know what we were playing there. Getting too aggressive once again. Thinking... Well, you know, we're in with a chance, so we would have given ourselves good position. 
But uh, Corrin's back in again. And uh, that's his first pot of the frame. And we're just not quite playing too well at the moment. In fact, making a few silly decisions. I'll hold, hold my hands up to that. But he's missed the yellow. Well, both players not really in their stride so far. I think it's definitely fair to say. Which is really annoying. I'll try and get this within uh, the pack of reds. But it's not going to happen. So we're going to play with some screw back. That's thrown off the line of the shot a little bit, actually. So just get it all straightened up. And this should be okay. In fact, we don't need it that hard. Again, I've said this in multiple videos. that It's a classic quote. If you don't need pace, don't bother. Or if you don't have to play with pace, you know, only play with pace when you need to is the kind of official quote. And my quote, which just is better than that, is... Uh, a yellow is better than a smack in the face. But we're going to be a bit more ambitious this time and go for the pink. And uh, that doesn't leave us too badly. Seven. Doesn't leave an obvious pot on granted, but uh, mm, I thought we were in better position than that, I must admit. Yeah. Hmm. Can't even get that red into the middle, can we? So it requires a bit of a safety here. Hmm. What do we play? It's a tricky shot because if we get this wrong, Kyron's going to be in here. So. The problem with just putting it up to the reds is that ultimately he can get a pot. You know, on one of these two. Hmm. Honestly, if we'd got nothing to lose, I'd be very tempted just to break open the reds. This is not too bad a shot, providing it goes correctly. It could go disastrously, but this is what, exactly what we're going to play. So, get some screw back. Hit it nice and soft and see how this goes. I mean, it's not the worst shot ever. doesn't leave anything obvious on. I'm sure he will get something out of it because it's just a top eight player and that's how they play. But to be quite honest, it's not been too bad there. We didn't whack open the pack of reds. Just quite a safe... Uh, and secure shot, but if he gets anything from this, well, fair enough. But no, he's playing the safety, which is absolutely fair enough given the circumstance. That's exactly what we're going to do again. You know, Kyron's wanting to keep that one frame lead, so he's not being too aggressive. And at the same token, we need to get back into this, so we don't want to give Kyron Wilson a chance. And that's not a bad safety shot at all. Blocks off that red on the cushion, and means he has to play another safety. So that one safety we did play at the start, you know, has given uh, some, some well, it's obviously some safety, but uh, has given us a chance here. But that's a brilliant safety. I mean, I thought he might have gone for the pot, and that's what he was hinting at, but uh, he wasn't. Now, we could play these reds, pardon me, these reds here. Hmm, these reds. Actually, we'll just go for these, can't we? No, I, d I don't think so. No, actually. I'm going to go for this far red, which I fancied before to go for the safety for. Just want to, I just hope that we don't hit it too hard, that so it bounces back on itself in terms of her hits the other red. Now we're a little bit lucky there, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Again, the cue ball just missing the red and a good safety played there. Might be a bit of a safety battle that plays out here. But to be honest, I, I, I don't really see the point of splitting things up in terms of putting, you know, um, matches in two episodes. Uh, you know, some episodes might be 45 minutes, some might be an hour and a half, but I don't really see the point of having two short videos. I'd rather just get a match done in a day. Now, he's blocked this off very well by using the green and the yellow, but he hasn't got a snooker. And uh, the best thing to do here, I would say... Is just play this up to the red. I might be wrong, but uh, that's probably the best opportunity for safety here. And there's certainly nothing obvious. I think he's playing safe here. He's tried to play safe, and he's not done too bad a job. No, certainly not. But we could be really aggressive here and go for a pot. Now this middle, mid, this top corner, we could go for. 
but uh, realistically there's no points so in light of that I'm just going to try and get this really soft and get it back up the table the I don't know I'm talking really quiet for but uh, yeah some snooker that you might not say is positive but at this point if we were a frame up yeah we'd play some more positive snooker but we're a frame down we know how good Kyron Wilson can be and there's just simply no point playing aggressive snooker and he's gone a little bit more aggressive there with the safety, which is interesting. But I think he's got away with it. Well, hmm, that looks a tempter, doesn't it? But he can tempt himself with those sort of shots. I don't fancy them. Again, if it went wrong, the uh, consequences could be terrible. But uh, not the best safety there. I mean, the most important thing is that it's back up the top of the table, so it provides a tricky pot. But that red in the middle of the table becomes an interesting opportunity. But he's going to play the one that we decided not to play before. Will he get it right? Close. He hasn't got it right. And that just proves the the uh, the problem with playing those sorts of shots. You know, it, it, might, it might well come up trumps. But sometimes it won't. And we can't play... Uh, well, we're going to be fine here because the cue ball will just go in the other way of the pocket. But there's no real point playing me too much screw back then in that case. So we'll play with some top... And uh, see how this goes. Again, we've got the pot. It's not the best position at the end of the day, but we weren't really looking for that. We were just looking to get the pot to get our frame kick started. Let's have a look what's on though now. Really, the yellow is probably our best chance. But it's either a tricky one into the middle or probably down the bottom of the table, and I probably prefer that option actually. Nice and soft. See how we get on. He's going for it. It's going to be close. And it's right in the heart of the pocket. Fantastic. Three. Well, this is another tricky shot, isn't it? Again, soft. Don't need to play with pace. He's looking at this red. But this is a remarkably tricky shot. And it's going to be close, but just off the it's cushion. Not. And we've missed it. And now Kyron Wilson's got a chance. But it was a tricky one. And to be honest, we were quite ambitious playing those shots. But he's potted that, of course. And now he's on the black. One. But we've seen him this miss these shots before. But that one's not been missed. It's in the heart of the pocket. Not easy safety, this. But it's going to be a safety here for Kyron. Well, that is an absolutely phenomenal safety shot from Kyron Wilson there. Has he got the snooker? He hasn't quite got the snooker. We can't get to this red. We have to just go to the... Brrr, to this bottom red. That's the only shot that's available to us. And this would... Well, unless we were lucky... Uh, actually, it might not open the red, so we might be okay. But it's going to have to be quite a hard one. This could really end up badly. But we've played it now. There's no going back. Where's the black going? Where's the black going? Oof, we're just about safe. We're not safe on the red on the bulk. You know, we wouldn't. We were always really going to leave that unless we played a solid shot. But it's quite a narrow one for him to play. But he's got this one down the bottom, which he seems to like. And it's there. Well, fair enough to him. We did a good job there, I think. I think we did as good as we could. But uh, interestingly, he's gone for the brown. Following up the uh, argument that a lower colour is better than a smack in the face. But this blue's tri uh, this red's tricky. Oh, I think he wanted to open up the pack there, but just missed them. So after this black and probably the bulk, uh, the bulk red, which actually he's left himself a little bit of a tricky well, angle on. Going down the bottom, this is always a nasty one. He's going to miss that. I could tell that already, but fortunately he's left himself, I think, safe here. Which is gutting for us. So we're just going to tap the pack. Might be touching ball here. But a very tense frame full of a lot of safety shots so far. But I don't quite know what that was. He just took the plunge, opened up the pack, but it hasn't really ended too well for him. I mean, he's granted he's uh, not left anything easy, but he's left a pot. And if this goes in, well, this could be good for us. He just wants to ensure he gets this cue ball tight to the cushion with the shot. Again, it's a tricky one. But it's there. What a pot. Cracking stuff. And could this open up the frame in our favour? 
Well, you have to ask questions about that, don't you? Fantastic. If we're looking to get back into the now for the pink. And that's there. But not brilliant position. But what position can you really craft? This right into the middle will go. Yeah, this one. Just checking the other two, just to check nothing else was on. But you couldn't really craft much, to be honest, there. So to get in that position was pretty decent. And the red is there. Well, I'll have a sniff at the pink. Uh, but seeing as we missed a shot similar to that before, it's going to be the yellow. Because at the end of the day, what's the harm? You know, the yellow puts us one point behind. We can get back down the table. And sometimes staying on the table is just better than uh, playing something that's over-aggressive. Now, I don't know if you know which red I'm looking at. It's this one. Will this red go? The one next to it will, probably if we can get on it. No, we can't. That won't go, I don't think. No, it won't, will it? Uh, actually, it's a blooming tight one. No, I don't think it will. So, I mean, no, we don't want to quite queue there. That would be a disaster. Got to ask the question as well. If either this one will go that we're looking at now, I'll stop. Hmm. I mean, there's a little bit of a limited angle we can look at this one at, unfortunately. Let's get down the table. It's tight. I don't think it does. But honestly, in this situation, it's just worth a try. Or is it? No. Safety. Let's play a safety shot. I know it's boring. But, uh, you know, if, if we don't play this safety shot, it could be of real detriment to this frame. Again, not the most fantastic safety. But provides a bit of a tricky yeah, angle for him. Shot, and this is a very down. weird, you know, this is a very yeah, tight frame. Beautiful. And he's potted that red, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't get the ball safe. That's a great pot. And this might well be a Karen yeah, Wilson frame, but... Uh, if he goes 2 up, that'll be gutting for us. But a very close frame. I mean, he's not won it yet, so I don't want to speak about it quite yet. There's nothing obviously on here. But he's potted that red, and that's absolutely fantastic. Really ambitious shot, and it was there. Pink will be a formality. And to be fair, he's playing really well positionally, which is nice to see. Now, that's a bit of a precarious shot. I wouldn't have really gone for that one, but he had, and he's potted it. Blew the shot of choice here. And he hasn't blew that one. Oh, I am funny. But positionally, he's a little bit weak there. And it provides a good... Like, to be fair, he needs a good long pot. And if he pots this, well, fair enough to him. But he hasn't potted it. Now, take some time, Toby. Or Neil, even, of course. Take some time over this pot. This should be fine. And it's there. I'm glad that hasn't pulled up. We didn't want it to. Now, the black's on here. It is. Let's just review our other options before we get going on the black. The blues are dead cert, to be honest, so I'm going to go with that. And all of you going, well, he doesn't provide any position. He probably doesn't, no, but a pot is better than giving him another chance. Oh, well. The blue might well provide position, but you've got to get the blue first, and it was an ambitious pot. Neil Robertson. And I think it's just not meant to be in these first two frames. It'd be, we'd provide a cracking position, to be quite honest. But as Kyron Wilson pots this green, he's not gone for the uh, big colour, interestingly. He's potted the green. The frame is mathematically over. But, uh, well, we need snookers, and he's just snookered us. So, we are going to concede. You might say it's a little bit early to concede, but... To be honest, there's no point playing on. Now, of course, we have to win all three frames to stay within the Paul Hunter Classic. And uh, we haven't really got our mojo going so far. I'm sure our highest break has been pretty low, maybe 20s or 30s. And uh, we haven't played to anywhere near the potential of what we can play. And Kyron's really, you know, left us out of that. 
It's a fair play to him. And he's hit the black, though, there. And that will be a foul. Neil Robertson. Now, let's view the table. I don't know if that, the really frustrating thing is you don't know if that blue's on, that, that red's on. Now, do we force the retake? I think we do. Force the retake there. Hopefully he makes the same mistake. Well, he's just about hit the red. That's not a bad safety at all, so maybe a little bit of it. And we could have got to this red, I would say, before. I know, obviously, it's a different angle now, but uh, we could have got there. But, you know, it's one of them. It certainly wasn't uh, the worst decision to make him play on. That's opened up the reds a little bit. More than we wanted him. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? Well, I honestly don't think it's meant to be. It's really not. I don't think it's meant to be to say. Sometimes you just can tell it's not meant to be. And Corin Wilson has the upper hand now. There's a few reds loose, and he'll go and pop one of these. We're not quite ready for the handshake yet, but I think if he plays like he has so far, then the 2018 holder will progress to the last eight, and we won't. But it's our first match against a real solid player within the top eight. And, uh, you know, this Shanghai Masters will be very interesting. But he's played a safety there. You know, he, he's going to play one because, at the end of the day, it's, uh, you know, it's... Um, He'll be pleased with that. It looks safe. There's no pots on. But I'm going to go for the plant here. Not the best at these, but uh, no, that's not worked out. Oh, it has! Well, just wait, needed to wait for gravity. But I didn't think those those plants don't usually work for me, but in that case it has. Well, now, no we're just going to play this blue with yeah. no sort of angle, no sort of uh, spin, and it's worked. Don't, don't come behind the yellow, don't snooker yourself. Well, Six. you know I said it's not meant to be. Honestly, I really don't think it is. Now, honestly, I said that if we had nothing to lose, we'd just play this sort of shot. We're going to belt it here. And funnily enough, if this lands there, we haven't actually ended up too badly. Can't believe we snookered ourselves there. Unbelievably, we've got the lead in this frame. Don't ask me how. Really don't ask me how. I don't think this ready's close to a go. But he's got the one at the top of the tab, which he is going to go for. But he's missed it. Well, wow. But he doesn't provide anything easy. I'm not confident with those pots. But of course, if we play a safety, he's on that pot. So, it's not the best. I am just going to play this red up to this one. On the right-hand side. There's no danger of it going in, I would say. Pace is very important here. Yeah, pace is very important. But just play it to the right just to make sure we, he can't get the pot. So there we go. That's not a bad safety. Great shot. That's a really good safety. Thank you very much. The commentators seem to appreciate it. David Hender particularly there. Close to the cushion. But he's played a bit of a safety there, but it hasn't worked. Really hasn't. An aggressive safety. And it really hasn't pulled up trumps for him. So Corin not playing the best here, to be honest. And neither are we, to be honest. I mean, what was that shot? One. Just play this red uh, up to the black. He won't want to underhit this shot. And can it just provide position on this red? <laughs> and it's way too good to be true, to be honest. So he will take this. One. And that was a real bad shot from us. I thought it would have gone more towards the cushion to give a trickier angle, but it didn't. And our safety play is certainly lacking. But we've just got to hope he makes another mistake. If he doesn't, he's through to the last eight. But we've been really tested here, a lot more than we had been before. Now, if he goes for this one on the cushion, he might make a mistake. There's one down the table which he'd be a fool not to play. He is playing that one. But it's a long pot. I didn't think he'd quite like got there, but he has. The black out of commission here. Well, it's not, apparently, according to him. And it's there. Well, fair play to him. Well, an excellent pot. 
This red does go. Wouldn't have seen that unless I was up to the table. And that's also there. 21 is highest break in this frame, but he's missed the black. Well, and this red will go. At least I think it will. Yeah, it definitely will. Don't know why I was questioning myself there. Again, soft give the ball every chance. And it's there. Good pot. Now, can we negotiate a way through to this black? No, we can't with the red bean there, unfortunately. So it's a green. And just a good belt. Classic belt of the green. And back down the table. I mean, we could do with this cue ball. Mm, well. Really, I would argue our best shot, shot now is either a safety. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um... I don't mind the look of this red on the edge of the cluster into the corner pocket. I mean, this does does go. And I think that's probably our best chance. So, we might as well play it. Bit of a shot to nothing. Probably a little bit softer. But if it does go, that will pull up trumps. Oh, well, it's just missed. But luckily, because of the black, I don't think we can get... I mean, well, I might be wrong. But because of the black, I don't quite think he can get through. But he might be able to... Yeah, he can just... Well, what's he done here? He might have... Well, lucky... Yes, that word. Lucky um, idiot, I think was that word. But, uh, well, that is quite unbelievable. I'm going to just play up behind this red. To the right, it's a risk. It definitely is. But just up to the right of this red. You won't want to overhit this. And that's not a bad safety at all. This is a half chance. Well, he's going to take this on into the middle. And to be honest, there was nothing really better we could have played there. But he has figured out that pot. The green's there. And now he's got a chance to get this red. I think our safety play has been pretty good today. But uh, Kyron's just found some really good shots. And potentially you could say he was a little bit lucky. I don't like to use the... You lose a game yourself. You don't lose it through the opponent. You lose a game yourself. But... Uh, you know, it's a little bit gutting to see this go this way. Unless there's a miracle now. Kyron Wilson will get through, but... Well, he's just missed that bloom. And I'm not a fan of these pots, but ultimately it's the only one we can blooming take on here. And it's there, but the cue ball's gone in. Well, I'm not surprised. But uh, he's letting us play on. No surprises there. But, uh, oh dear... That shot just categorises our day, honestly. But an half-decent safety. And we are still in this. We're going to fight until the end. We are going to fight until it says that Neil Robertson has lost. That's no, that's a, about as good a safety we could have played. He's 24 ahead with 59 remaining. So absolutely plenty left on the table. But at the moment, unfortunately, none of these will go into the pocket. A little bit of an unfortunate predicament. It's a tricky safety. And it is a tricky safety shot. And did it provide safety? You could argue not. But luckily that bottom pocket is uh, disrupted, I would say, by all the colours gathering towards that. So, I mean, there's there's a possible chance that red nearest the pink could get through. And I'm sure he's got, the, he's got the brains to play. That's exactly what I thought. But will he get it through? Will he play the good enough shot? I think he will. Well, that is an outstanding shot from Kyron Wilson. And he'll pop the pink. Well. They'll go for the red. Although I don't know if it gets through. No, he's just played a bit of a safety there. Which is a little bit silly because he has allowed this red to come through now. I don't know whether he's trying to open something up or tease something. I'm really not sure. But uh, we're going to play this red. And it's there. The crowd seem to like that one. Not on anything but the brown particularly. Unless we go for this narrow black. And I'm not a fan of these shots. But you know what? We haven't got anything to lose here. So why not? Safety here, I think. And it's there. But so is the cue ball. Oh, God. Well, again, we've committed so many fouls today. It's quite unbelievable. We're going to come to the right-hand side now. Well, the other, the other side. 
That is quite unbelievable, isn't it, really? But, but no, we're still in this. We are still in this. It's a long way back from here, but we are still in this. 37 ahead with 43 remaining. Again, another colour and a red. He will win this, but... Well, that was a bit of a poor attempt. But uh, unbelievably, he has been a bit lucky, I would say, today. We're just going to play this uh, tight red. See if we can get it. It's there. See where this ends up, though. It's not over until uh, it's over in terms of where the cue ball is. One. Now, 36 behind. We play the brown. It gives side position, half decent position on the red. Um, and we will still be in the frame. But there's the brown. That's good. Five. The brown's a tricky one. The uh, red, even, is a tricky one. We all noticed a slight break there. I did go for my dinner. Uh, so we've got a bit of reignited hope. Right Probably going to go straight away. But we've potted the red. Beautiful. Again, we're in this frame. Six. But we haven't given ourselves great position on anything, to be honest. Again, if we pot the yellow, we need a snooker. Same goes for the green. But the brown or anything above will cause to tie, if not win, the frame. So, we've got to go hard or go home, really, in this situation. Let's go for the pink. If this doesn't go in, it could be our last pot of the Paul Hunter Classic. And it might well be. But have we snookered him? Have we snookered Kyron Wilson? Neil Robertson, six. He'll be Ignore that 13 remaining. There's clearly not. There's 27 remaining. Has he hit the yellow? Yes, he has. Well, we might as well pot the yellow. But uh, we do now need a snooker. He's aiming for the left corner here. The yellow's there. Wow. This is just to stay in the game, win this one frame. So, in light of that, let's just try. I'm rubbish at these, I must admit. And just move this green a bit. And get behind the brown. That's not too bad a job. I think he can still get to it, I think. Yeah, uh, well, we have technically snookered him. But he's got out of that one fairly easily, hasn't he? Let's be honest. It wasn't a hard one to get out of. He's managed to get out of the snooker, but I think he's left a potting chance. Oh, we have, he has left a potting chance, but I'm just looking to see. Can we get behind this blue? We're going to try it. He needs to be mindful of not under-hitting this shot. And we have under-hit it there, so we might not get behind the blue. No, we're not going to. But we're going to have to try. <clears throat> now, we might as well try. That was a little bit unfortunate. We just didn't hit it hard enough. He's got the green, which now green. means we have to get a few more snookers. But if he'd have potted the cue ball there, that would have been uh, a lot more crucial. But providing there's no complete surprises here. A little bit of luck on the blue. We're going to just let him pot the last two balls. It's fair to after he's absolutely crucified us here in the Paul Hunter Classic last 16. And our luck has finally run out after three games against David Lilly, Wan Jun, and Mark King. This is the only game that we haven't won a frame in. And Kyron Wilson wins in the last 16 of the Paul Hunter Classic by three frames to nil. And it's him who goes to the last eight and not us, unfortunately. Well, our luck was bound to come out at some point. You know, a bit of a rubbish game from us, to be honest. Only 101 points out of the 100, out of the 290 that were scored. But, you know, I think Kyron Wilson played well. I think we got a little bit unlucky as well. I think those two elements together led to the loss. But, uh, you know, it would have been nice to get into the closing stage of this tournament. But it just makes sure that we've got a little bit of experience against a big player before uh, what comes potentially in the next tournament. But it's Mark Selby who has won the Paul Hunter Classic. Mark Williams gets the high break award of £1,000. But as you can see, it's uh, Mark Selby who wins the Paul Hunter Classic. So let's advance from here and see what happens next. <clears throat> 
So it's the uh, Sang Som 6 Red World Championship that comes up next. And to be quite honest, I'm not really too fussed about this uh, this championship. Uh, so we are going to skip this. So the tournament result, who's won it? Of course, it's a ranking event. So, you know, you get uh, ranking points from it all. A little bit clunky, these menus, I have to say. But it's Kyron Wilson who is the reigning champion. But John Higgins against Barry Hawkins is the final. And John Higgins is the champion. He beats Barry Hawkins five frames now. What a dominant display from him. But next up is the Shanghai Masters. What a tournament this could be. And uh, we're in round two of that already. Uh, I'm not really sure how round nine goes so much. I'll have to have a look at the tournament tree. Not quite sure how this one works. We're in the second match in the Shanghai Masters. And in part nine of the career mode, we will take on Sean Murphy in China. Our first foray into China. Uh, no, of course, we played. Do we play in the World Open? I think that's in China. Uh, and, of course, we have played uh, in the China Championship qualifiers. But, but all right. In a proper ranking event, in a proper um, sort of rounded round of the tournament. A rounded round? And a proper round of the tournament rather than a qualifier. This is our first official match in China against Sean Murphy. If we knock out Sean Murphy, it could be good. But it's a big match against Sean Murphy, as you can see. If we win this match, we will earn 30,000, which is over treble, pretty much, I think. Yeah, pretty much treble of what we've earned so far. But there we go. Uh, round two, quarterfinal, semi-final. So, effectively, it's only a four-round tournament. I'm not sure why we weren't in round one. I'm sure we'll figure that one out later. Perhaps it might be that. I'm not really sure. But perhaps it might be that it's the bot mate from the 16 who take place in round one again. My knowledge of that's a little bit sketchy, so I'll have to have a look at that. But in the next episode, we'll play against Sean Murphy in the Shanghai Masters. Let's see how we go, and it should be a really exciting episode, and hopefully we'll book up our ideas compared to when we played Kyron Wilson. But this is a much bigger tournament than the Paul Hunter Classic, so let's hope we can go far. I've been CIJ Gaming. Thank you very much for watching, and until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.